Hello and welcome to this week's Gadget Show Web TV on the subject of digital radio, but not digital radio as we know it, or DAB, which occupies its own dedicated set of frequencies just above FM. No, I'm talking about digital radio on the old-fashioned wave bands that have been around since the dawn of wireless. Long wave, medium wave, short wave even. It's not called DAB, it's called DRM, standing not for Digital Rights Management, but for Digital Radio Mondial. And indeed, it's obviously arrived because Morphe Richards have decided to launch this. Logically enough, it's called the Morphe Richards DRM Radio, which begs a few questions. Most importantly, why bother to transmit digital radio on these frequencies? Well, the answer to that is that radio on those old-fashioned frequencies is very robust. In the case of shortwave, for example, you can literally hear one signal right round the world. In the case of longwave and medium wave, you can have one frequency covering an entire country or indeed a continent. There are a number of DRM trials on shortwave, but they don't broadcast all the time. But there is one place in the country where you do get DRM radio. It's Plymouth. And I'm off there now. The BBC have decided to launch a DRM trial in Plymouth. They're broadcasting one of their local radio stations, Radio Devon, on its normal 855 kilohertz medium wave frequency, but in digital rather than analog form. We've arrived, and the first thing to do is to find somewhere to plug the Morphe Richards in, because uh, it's mains only. And also, it has a continental European plug. Fortunately, I've got my continental European adapter with me. First time you switch the radio on, it goes through an automatic tuning process, scanning through all the bands. But I've actually chosen to tune into the Radio Devon trial manually to make sure that I've got the DRM signal and not the DAB or the FM one. And that's for Steve Fosdyke, who, who well, great task this week. Tiango, any new young for my apartment? Well, I've been listening for a while now on these headphones to do it justice, and I'm not really that impressed. Um, it's certainly at its best clearer than traditional AM, but it sounds very processed and distorted, certainly worse than FM and even considerably worse than DAB. I think part of the problem is that in order to fit it into the standard AM slot, um, they've had to really squeeze the bit rate down to a rather worrying sounding 20 kilobits per second. They say that if DRM actually does take off, they're going to have to um, increase the slot width occupied by a station from 9 kilohertz to something like 50 kilohertz. That way you'll get a bit rate of more like 100 kilobits per second, which really will be worth listening to. Now I do like the way you get uh, lots of information on the screen and also the way that uh, you can pause live recordings and record onto an SD card if you've got one installed. Now the Morphe Richards does actually receive all the other wave bands as well. It's got DAB, it's got FM, medium wave, even, sh even short wave. So um, it actually is a quite a comprehensive radio and on FM particularly it sounds pretty good. The only thing is though, in order to keep the uh, number of knobs down on the face here, they have actually become heavily reliant on menus and also on that automatic tuning and uh, where I live on FM for example I only picked up one station because the FM signals around me are pretty weak and that means you're thrown back on that some rather fiddly manual tuning options. For the moment though the sound quality plus the fact that you can only get a DRM station in Plymouth makes it uh, frankly rather a niche product strictly for radio anoraks.